Hey, what is up fellow Raiders? This is Vulcan Dan and in today's Raid Shadow Legends video, we are going to talk about my recommended champions for this special Fire Knight tournament right here from October 25 to 26. If you want to get up to 20 fragments for Iron Brago and Burgoth the Malformed, I think both of those are excellent champions. Now, of course, I hope you have gotten your missing fragments if you were looking for uh, to get those from uh, the previous uh, special tournaments. One was the dragon one and the other one is the spider. I uh, I put out a video yesterday on the, on my recommended champions from the Talarian Alliance to deal with the spider. So today's video is about this one is for the Fire Knight and we are only supposed to be using champions from the Corrupted Alliance. All right, so first let's take a look at the the tournament that is live right now, which is the Dragon Tournament right here. And as you can see, I have completed this. You need 1,000 points to get the highest one, which is the Rorik Wormbane Fragments. And I just stopped there. I don't really need to uh, compete here because you don't really get much. Uh, if you get first place, you do get five more Fragments. And if you don't, if, if you just got these, these are just 15 Fragments each. Um, I don't know if the next events will be similar to this one. Uh, but yeah, you know, we, we just have gems and fragments. That's basically it. So if you're not really looking to get these fragments, then it's okay to skip these events. Uh, you can just focus on the other ones that we have. We have, of course, the Fire Knight right here. And, uh, and we also have a champion training live right now. It just started uh, a few hours ago champion training so yeah so you can use your energy for those if you're not going for the extra fragments i already have those legendary champions i have the fragments but i'm just doing these just so uh, just in case we get more fragments in the future and i can maybe get a dupe you know uh, because we will we will have that dupe system soon and i'm uh those extra dupes if i do get to if I do get enough fragments in order to pull a second one of those champions, then uh, we might, you know, I might get some use out of those. All right, let's get to it. Corrupted Alliance. These are the Demon Spawn, Undead Hordes, Dark Elves, and Knights Revenant. And it's uh, it's fortunate that Plarium chose these four factions because we do have a lot of good champions to deal with the Fire Knight. Uh, from these four so let's start with demon spawn if you are fortunate enough to have sishia flame tongue we did have uh, an event uh, i think a 10 times event to get her a few months ago she has this triple hit a1 and hp burn uh, on her a3 and she would uh, grant an extra turn if hp burn is placed on all enemies so if this is the the fire knight boss then then of course you just need to get hp burn off on on the fire knight boss and you will immediately get an extra turn and she has this nice weaken decrease defense on her a2 right so yeah an excellent champion uh she's she can be used in spider her triple hit a1 is excellent for the fire knight and of course uh, her passive has some uh has some synergy with cardial but of course you can't use him for this event because uh, they are not uh, because he is not from the allowed factions. But yeah, if you have her, I don't ha have her my myself, but she's an excellent champion for Fire Knight. We also have Duchess, of course, double hit A1. And then basically she will just keep your entire team alive and revive anyone if in case they fall down. And if you need an aura lead, she has an, uh, a great 19% uh, speed for all battles. All right. Another one which is quite hard to get, avoid legendary, Crutraxia. Uh, yeah, very hard to say name. Uh, but yeah, she has a 4-hitter A1 that ignores 50% of the enemy's defense. And this weaken on her A2 plus grants an extra turn. So you can be sure that she will use her A1 every single turn. Because whenever she uses her A2, she will, uh, she will get an extra turn and go back to her A1. So she will always do this 4-hitter. So she's an excellent champion to have. Uh, but yeah, she's a void le legendary. So not many, champ uh, not many players will have her and of course 
we can't have a fire knight video talking about demon spawn without a lure you just basically have to turn off her a2 and a3 you just need her a1 uh, for that decreased turn meter and of course triple hitter of course yeah nothing much to say about allure she is excellent and if you're probably somewhere in the early or mid game and you have a fell hound maybe you're using him to farm the camp campaign he is an excellent campaign farmer he's also great for the fire knight because of his reflect damage a2 that's on a two turn cooldown when book so two turn cooldown two turn uh, reflect damage so this is excellent for the fire knight because that reflect damage if you have that up on all five of your champions then that's an instant minus five on the shield of the fire knight right so fell hound another great option if you're just uh if you don't have enough champions for the fire, fire knight in the early or mid game now let's go to the undead hordes we have nethril yeah triple hitter a1 with poisons and of course decreased turn meter on her on his a3 which is excellent for the fire knight and a decreased speed if the stun is not placed and of course you cannot stun the the fire, fire knight boss so he will place this decreased speed instead so his entire kit is excellent for the fire knight we also have necrath of right i am fortunate to have him uh void legendary of course very hard to get but he does have a triple hit a1 of course with this ally attack which uh, both of these skills will take down the the shield of the fire knight very quickly plus he has this nice ally protection on his a3 all right w who else do we have here we also have volgoth yeah so we uh you might know him as more of an arena champion but don't forget people uh, and I, I found out that not a lot of players know this about him is that he has a triple hit a1 yeah triple hit a1 that increases the duration of a random buff on the target by one turn so yeah he is usable for the fire knight and of course since he is hp based he's easy to keep alive and of course he's well known for his passive and yeah he will keep your entire team alive with that passive and and of course his a2 pro provoke is helpful for the waves as well right so that's for the undead hordes for the dark elves we have zavia another triple hit a1 with poison explosion excellent and vizier known to be a clan boss specialist but his triple hit a1 is of of course excellent for the fire knight plus he has this uh heal reduction and decrease attack on his a2 uh, many people for forget that you do need heal reduction uh to face the fi fire knight because he will he does heal himself with that uh big a aoe hit so yeah having that heal reduction there is quite nice who else do we have here we also have blind seer yeah if you need someone to revive he also has a triple hit a1 as well of course with the turn meter reduction on his uh her a1 yeah so you might want to really bring someone to revive your champions some someone like a duchess or a blind seer of, of of course these two champions are very rare very hard to get so uh, if you're missing a reviver, you might want to bring someone like a Caden, you know, or anyone from these four factions that can revive because uh, the F Fire Knight does hit hard. And of course, we have Cold Heart, four hitter A1 with heal reduction, of course, and Heart Seeker. So yeah, uh, if you've been playing the this game for quite some time now, maybe even just a month or two, you already know that Cold Heart is the best uh rare champion in the entire game because she can be played all the way up until end game and she is excellent for the fire knight all right and lastly we have the knight's revenant we don't have a lot of uh excellent champions here for the fire knight but we do have a few great ones tomb lord is increasingly becoming one of my favorite champions after his buff but pre-buff I've, I've already built him i was using him in a few of the dungeons but post buff he's becoming really you know one of my top legendaries in this game he has a triple hit a1 with decreased speed and he has this decreased uh, attack and decreased defense on his a a3 that had uh, its uh, cooldown reduced by one turn bef uh, because this used to be a six turn now it's a five five turn with books now it's a four turn so it's an excellent uh, it it wasn't it was an okay skill now it's much much better and and of course the the poisons on his uh a2 used to be uh 
four poisons on uh, for one turn but now it's four poisons for two turns so that's basically doubling the effect of the a2 so again tomb lord if you have him you're you're gonna probably want to use him for the fire knight because his entire kit is excellent for the fi fire knight all right um not really much for the epics uh, we don't have a lot of multi-hit a1s in this batch um you might want to use miscreated monster but um his stuns doesn't really do much so his uh but his a1 does have this double hit but yeah that's that's really only if you don't have anyone else uh to fill up your roster but a rare champion coffin smasher a great clan boss champion in the early game i have built one my myself for my early game clan boss he does have this triple hit a1 with decreased attack hp burn on his a2 and this nice little passive that will reduce the damage of the fire knight uh, of that big hit All right so yeah those are my recommended champions so basically you can just put a put together a mishmash of any of those of course the uh le legendaries like tomb lord Nethril, necret zavia vizier those will all play play well together um but you might want to of course bring a reviver uh who's a good reviver if uh if you're missing a reviver like if you don't have blind seer or or duchess you might want to bring Rec rector draft but she doesn't have a multi-hit a a1 but that's fine you know uh as long as you have someone to keep your team alive we have Caden, of course uh for the dark elves for undead we have Gorgorab, yeah if you're looking for a reviver who else do do we have demon spawn D demon spawn does not have a lot of options for revivers it's basically i think it's just that duchess if i'm not mistaken all right but yeah that's it so basically get your triple hit uh dub double hit or of course four hitter a ones in terms of uh in terms of crew crutraxia or cold heart those will be your champions for the fire knight and for tomorrow i will put out a video of course for the last of these halloween events let's take a look at that again so tomorrow i will put out a video on the galen pack alliance on uh beating the ice golem now i think from the events that that we have this this one is the least desirable because we have drogo El and elegaius which are not really great champions but I'll still try to do to do that, you know, because you um, who who knows we might get a buff soon for these two champs. And yeah, uh, let's see if we can put together a good ice golem team tomorrow. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you guys in my next video.